it's okay. There's no wrong to answer. What's the most important thing you need in order to be successful in Florida? I think the most important thing you need now is to know my name. Huh? <laughs> South distributor, an independent distributor of Forever Living product. Amazingly enough, I joined Forever Nine years ago. Now tell me, what do you want from me? What's your most challenge? What's the difficulties that you face when you first started Forever Living? I remember the first difficulty I did face was having a fear of unknown. Because I have a background of administration law, and this is where I was living. And start a new venture. So I didn't know what I was going to do today. So the challenges I faced on the way, mostly are the challenges of life. I to know how to deal with it. And to deal with all these challenges that I faced came from the trainings I got. So it's just for you to watch the trainings. And the most important thing is get to know your business. Once you know your business, know your marketing plan, know your product. And uh, I met you four years ago in Phoenix, and uh, ten years and a bit for Forever And I see some of the check they were getting. But last year, I think they got the biggest check. How much is the biggest check you got last year? Actually, because I the check, the year before, I got $11,000. receiving a hundred and seventy four thousand dollar check. Woo! Woo! 
a lot of money. But this money comes with the hard work. I started this journey with Forever in August 2003. We were introduced to this Forever through a friend. We used to work very hard for other people, making money for them, and us, we were struggling. One day that call made a change in our life. I was very skeptical when I started this business. I thank my wife here who took it seriously. And within three months of her building her business, without my support, she managed to build a manager business. And that's when I saw the money and I realized I have to be in. <laughs> now, I remember during those days of building forever in London, we just qualified for a supervisor and we had our success day. And I remember Greg, he came to attend our success day. It was only after the, Afri no, the European rally in Greece, in Athens, which we qualified for the very first time. And I told him after I was given the mic to speak, I was very, very scared. Because I was not used to being recognized in our jobs. You only recognize for wrong things. <laughs> things like when you're late to work, that's when the boss recognizes you. Now, I ask that in my naive way, that please, I could see this opportunity changing lives. Can you please bring it to East Africa? I don't know if they remember that, but I remember it quite well. Two years later, 2005, that was in 2003, the business opened in Kenya. And I was so happy. I realized now the change has begun particularly with my family. I was so fed up of calling my family when I'm back abroad, and they always giving me a list of problems. So I was fed up of giving them a fish. I was looking for a way of how I can give them a net or a hook and teach them how to fish. And forever gave it. And from there, the journey started from East Africa, went to Kenya, went to Rwanda, then right now Uganda. And thank you. These are amazing leaders. Rwanda did wonderful 2007. Uganda, you've done wonderful. We are all proud of you. This is your check. It is your hard work. I believe that if we all work together, if we all move together as one, we shall get bigger than this check. Remember, global profit share is coming. Hawaii! Thank you. Thank you, Greg, for that. After I've said in my way, you really brought the business in East Africa. Thank you, Rex, and the staff. Thank you so much for being supportive in East Africa and Africa. Please take this business seriously. Please, you've got something special in your hand. Go out there and share it. Many hands are sinking. They are raised. They are asking for help. You have it in your hands. How many will you share and get it out from that position? Please take this seriously. Take this seriously. Thank you. Good morning forever. And I'm happy you can hear me today because two days ago, my voice was not working. It was gone. Thanks for the hour to go. I'm now on the go. First, I would like to thank Mr. Moore and the Moore family. You've been fabulous to us. I remember when you recognized me as an assistant manager. And I remember when we met in Greece, Athens with a broken arm. And we went prospecting. But believe me, some told him no. And they still do. We love forever as a family. We've been working forever, as, just, as Jasper said. But it's never been easy. So for the people who think it's easy, it's not easy. If you are doing your business and you can remember where your food is, you're not doing it yet. 
if you are do, doing your business and you can sleep very well because you are not remembering your goals, you are not doing it yet. So take forever as a business. Take it as something that can put food on your table because forever puts food on our table, forever clothes our children, forever builds the houses that we live in. We are all forever. So when forever came to us, as Jasper said, we did not only see the money. We are Africans and we live in the UK and we do our business in Africa. We saw every widow out there. We saw orphans. We saw the underprivileged. And we thought ourselves, and I remember when I sat with my husband Jasper and we thought, if only we can get one manager in each and every village, there would be change. And we can see forever grow from one country to another from the year 2003. We are all privileged and come, this check comes from the QLS team, amazing team. Jen and John, tirelessly, they've been working around with us. They've never stopped right from the beginning. Any problem, we have a shoulder to lie on. And we are all proud to say that the QLS all around, they are doing very well. And not only the QLS, the African community will love you. When we see change in each and every person's home, we cry tears. And all is because of one gentleman who thought under his garage and thought and brought for us a business that can really change our lives. It's a business that has, it's got that solidarity in it and it's got love. And all the principles we get within Forever Living products, if we use them, they are all biblical and they take us everywhere and we change. If you are a manager who is not changed, you really need to do something because by the time you get to manager's position, there's a word love written on your forehead. So just believe in yourself and you are going to be free. Thank you. You'll notice Rex just gave them $2, so now their check is $175,000. Congratulations, guys. We're very, very proud of you. Wow. Nigeria, let's hear it. 